What's good, everybody? You already know what the dealio is. Look, I got a couple things. Look, I couldn't find no piece of paper to be completely honest, so I had to put on, a, you know, some some piece of mail. But look, I got my thing going. Look, there's a there's like seven players, right? That uh, is on the oh, uh, that's pretty much I I would say that's pretty much on the trading block. I'm just gonna say that. Um, Gordon Hayward. Is number one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, him, he, I don't know how good he will be, you know, after all of his injuries and everything. He's not been reliable, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I would say if Gordon Hayworth wants to raise his uh his value as a player, he goes. He he's gonna have to go to you know a a team that sucks. You know, he's gonna probably have to go to like. Washington Wizards. Go, he goes to Washington Wizards, and he plays out of his mind. It's crazy. But the thing is, you got Jordan Poole there, and he ain't gonna. He he's not gonna give up the ball like that. So you got that issue. Um. There's, you could try the Rockets. But at that time, the Rockets are still not gonna take you. So I, that's, yeah, I don't really know what to tell you. Um. To be completely honest, uh, if you get traded off, um, the only place I could really see you go, and this is just me, uh, Gordon Hayworth, I could see you go to the Magic. That's it. I can't see you anywhere else. I could probably make a little thing about maybe, you know, the, the, uh, the Toronto Raptors, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But and now if you want to sit on the bench and come off the bench, then yeah, uh, there's no problem. There's no problem. You, you can go to a team. But they still want you healthy. You know what I'm saying? They still want you healthy. Like if the Lakers had Gordon Hayworth coming off the bench. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? He's a shooter now. The thing is, he just got to stay healthy. That's the key. Stay healthy. Then you got Evan Fournier at number two. Uh, yeah, Evan Fournier. I could I could see him. Yeah, he's he because he's not he's not starting. He's gonna come off the bench. He's gonna come off the bench. He can pretty much go anywhere on in a sense, really, but coming off the bench. He'll be a good value coming off the bench. Uh, uh, the Suns, you know what I'm saying? The Lakers. Uh, shoot, the Heat. The Heat. Uh, the Bulls. 76ers. But you're gonna have to come off the bench. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to sacrifice your. Your playing time to actually really get get on the team. You know what I'm saying? You're still getting heck of money. So there's, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's no need for it. Um, and I was surprised about this because the dude just got traded. Uh, D'Angelo Russell. Um, I guess where he's at, they don't, they don't really want him. Um. I feel like he'll be a good fit. Really, um, backing up Kyrie over in the Mavs. I feel like that'll be a good fit, fit for him. Coming off the bench, you're gonna have to come off the bench. You're gonna have to come off the bench. But I, I feel like that that'll be the best fit for you, to be completely honest. Cause you got Kyrie right there, and then when Kyrie gets tired. You know what I'm saying? You're right there. Right? But I think that uh, the Mavericks, the Mavericks are the one for you, um, to be completely honest. Uh, I couldn't see you at the Heat, to be completely honest. I really couldn't. Uh, maybe on the Suns. Maybe. Maybe on the Suns. But that's still coming off the bench. Because um, you're not beating any of them. You're not beating Bradley Beal for the spot. You're not beating Kevin Durant for the spot. You're not beating Devin Booker for the spot. So you just you're you're coming off the bench. 
Like, you would have to come off the bench no matter what. I can see you go to 76ers. That'd be nice. Coming off the bench right behind James Harden. But we're going to get back to that. Um, number four, we got Zach Levine. Zach Levine, um, like I said, he could pretty much go anywhere. Zach Levine is a dog. You feel me? Zach Levine is a dog. He could pretty much go to any team, and uh, he could, it's just the thing of does teams have enough to give for Zach Levine? Um, and that's what you got to look at. Um, it just depends, to be completely honest with you. But I feel like Zach Levine has the utmost potential to go anywhere, to be completely honest with you. Um, he can go to to all the teams, all of them. <laughs> Said A to Z, he can go all of them, the whole alphabet. I think he could start. To be completely honest with you, any team he goes to. Um, but yeah, he's he's an animal. Uh, it's just a thing of does teams have enough cap space to put him in there? Do they have do they have enough pieces to trade to get them there? Uh, we number five, Pascal Siakam from the Raptors. I feel like he can go anywhere. I feel like he can go anywhere. Anywhere he goes, I feel like it's gonna be a game changer. Um, to be completely honest with you, um, he can he can make a difference on any team on, on the defense and offensive side, but mostly the de defensive side because he's he's a big body. He likes to defend people. He likes to irritate people. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel like he, he he likes to he likes to get in people's heads. So yeah, I, I feel like that'd be that'd be a, a good spot. That that anywhere he goes, it'd be the same thing as Zach Levine, as long as you have enough cap space. Uh, as long as you have uh, pieces to trade and enough value, you can you can you can get him. You can get him. Uh, Damian Lillard. I've already said this. The Heat would be a good fit for him. To be completely honest with you, uh, shoot. To be completely honest with you, the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks. Damian Lillard on the Milwaukee Bucks would be lit. Be honest. That would be lit. No one ain't looking at that, but you gotta understand. That's that's a that's a lit that's a lit thing. The 76ers. Put them on there. That would be lit. But no matter what, Damian Litter is not coming off the bench. He's gonna be starting no matter what. Um freaking and my last one, James Harden. James Harden can go anywhere as long as he plays. You know, it does the the regular season. I want you to average about 30, 30, 10, and ten. To be completely honest with you, that's what you should be averaging. Uh, in the playoffs, I want you to average 40, 10, and ten. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're James Harden. You know what I'm saying? You you changed this game. You know what I'm saying? You changed this game. Uh. You know, a lot of people don't do that, but you did. Um, you're one of the greatest people to touch that touch the ball. You're one of the greatest scorers to ever touch the ball. Um, you need to straighten yourself up, James Harden. And I hate to see you go down this path because my boy Tony, my boy Tony, he loves the heck out of you. He he looks at you and idolizes you as the best player. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to ever step in the NBA. Right? But when you play, you don't act like it. You don't act like You don't act like you're the best player. Since you left Houston, bro, you don't act like you're the best option. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you can go on any team as long as you're going to actually stay there. For more than a year or two and actually give the team time to work around you and for you to get a championship man I understand that you're in your prime and that's cool but you gotta do what what what, what you gotta do um but uh 
if y'all like the video, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, you know what I'm saying? Your boy is going to be doing this a lot, like, I, like I've been doing. Um, yeah, I'm just... It's crazy. Like, hey, no matter what, the NBA is going to have news no matter what. If it's the... If, even if it's in, in the season or, or it's not in season. The NBA is always going to have news. So, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Your boy is out. And peace.